Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective readings. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in at the 30 minute mark. The reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. Okay Virgo, let's get into your reading for November 2023. Hope you all had a great Halloween and a great Halloween weekend. All right, let's get into this. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below. I do have discounted 30-minute phone call readings for the month of November and December. I changed it up, discounted it even more. I think it's like even more, I like think almost 50 to 75 percent off now all right so you're starting with kisses unconditional love giving and receiving affection falling in love somebody wants to kiss you blowing you kisses let's see what else is going on here let's get some good love messages hand of cards someone's not showing <laughs> their hand okay so there's definitely an energy here wow virgo um i feel like this is a secret kind of thing someone taking a risk hmm let's see secretly wants to kiss you let's see we're gonna find out who this is okay karmic relationship in the reverse wow um coming out of a karmic relationship so in the upright fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you I feel like if you were in a karmic relationship with someone where there was like a lot of struggle with someone, um, somebody that wasn't, or there was like some kind of turmoil, some kind of relationship, it's in like, so it's in the reverse. This person, it feels to me like they're gonna take a chance here and show you some love, show you some affection, show you some, like, I feel like somebody's falling in love with you here. There's like some healing of a karmic or struggle relationship. Okay, but I will say that definitely taking a risk, this person, definitely like coming through um being a bit strategic so I, it feels mostly like they're going to try to kind of show up in your life but not come out like very directly okay just let me get a couple of messages of love here and get into this and see what the heck is going on what else does virgo need to know here and i'm going to find out who this is oh yeah this person wants another chance in this relationship a second chance okay they want to try something here again they have a lot of regret yeah for sure okay maybe they were maybe it's karmic there was a lot of struggle they might not have been expressing themselves in this relationship and it looks like now they want to show you how they feel tell you that they're falling in love with you or that they're in love with you they have a lot of regret feeling remorse for the way they treated you this relationship deserves a second chance they believe they want to bring it home. They want to bring home the bacon. They want to bring it home. Try to make something happen here with you. Let's see if we can get a kind of an idea. And let's see. All right. So you've got the three of pentacles. Okay. This person's going to... There, there's definitely a message coming in. You'll hear from this person. It could be an earth sign. Let me just get a... Try and see who this might be. All right. Yeah. Capricorn okay definitely showing up so far as this person being a capricorn for some of you okay so this person i feel like they've been working on something they're gonna reach out tell you what's been going on with them tell you their ideas their plans like i said a bit indirect a little passive they're not gonna come out very directly and be like i'm totally in love with you let's be together i want you to be in my life there's a not very romantic kind of energy here um but the hangman like they're very patient okay they have these like i'm seeing things differently i do see this person does see things differently they've been away 
and I feel like they've gained some knowledge. They've been on some kind of journey or you guys have been in separation. And the Eight of Cups always to me is an energy of like separation and then kind of like coming back. It's like a temporary separation. So, you know, been away, just went on some kind of emotional journey, figuring things out, had some kind of spiritual awakening in some way. And I feel like this person seeing things very differently um, and I don't I, I don't like to really like say they're making strategic moves like they're being manipulative I don't feel it's that it could be a Pisces but I feel like it's more like in order to try to I feel like win your heart they got to do it differently because the way they were doing it before they weren't they were just being kind of non-affectionate. <laughs> they weren't really trying is what I feel like. They weren't really putting in the effort. So they're kind of looking at things differently now here and telling you, I see them talking like they've been to school. They got schooled. They've been to school. They learned about themselves. They learned what they were doing wrong. They figured some stuff out. Um, they have a lot of regret. They want another chance. They want the opportunity to try again this is what they've learned they're going to tell you that you know they treated you badly they weren't they weren't opening up they weren't sharing things with you they were making you feel like you were bothering them if you ask questions or if you just were asking them how they felt or if you asked them you know are we still dating or are we like what are we doing in our relationship or even if you just wanted to see them and they were kind of like always busy they kind of realized that they were just pushing you out away or not being available a lot there was like a lack of availability i don't even want to go down the road of emotional availability as much as just not really being present to the relationship which caused some type of I mean, if there's a, there's a desire for a second chance and there must have been some kind of split of some sort or just separation, okay? Um, and if you walked away from this relationship, Virgo, if you separated yourself, even if it was just a temporary separation or even if it was a divorce with no end in sight to just say, okay, we'll be back together later or anything, it's just like creating distance. I really do feel like this caused some kind of like... Hmm. Seeing things differently, not just in you, but in this person, for sure. Okay, look, there you go. Making some kind of transition. So I feel like in November, this person really hits rock bottom. They really kind of are like... This change brings them to their knees, for sure. Page of Swords in the reverse. It's got them completely curious about you and if you are even interested in them. This person, I mean, this is like in the reverse, tremendous amount of stalking. I mean, this person is watching you left, right, and center in November. Um, I mean, even weak for you. Like, they're even like weak. Look at all that sword energy. Um, there, there, even there's even like this fear of like, you won't be interested. They have like a fear that you're gonna break some bad news or they're gonna find out that you're no longer available or that you're gone. So hmm. there is this like fear of being defeated that if, that maybe they didn't come back soon enough too. Or maybe they waited too long. Yeah, they do have this like fear, a lot of regret for sure. So, I mean, I am telling you, November, if you're getting strange calls or strange friend requ requests, or if you start hearing from this person, um, or you could just feel that energy, this person around you and you haven't talked to them, they're, they're definitely snooping a little bit to see, yeah. If you're involved in another commitment um, or if there's an opportunity for this 1111 energy for you guys to kind of come into union together 
Um, and I'm feeling some strong holiday vibes here, you know? Also, if, if maybe if you went and got married or if you moved on with somebody else, they're looking to see if you're with your family or if you are, I don't know, even just looking for you, you might not even be anywhere where you can be seen and that is causing them to search even more. Some of you might not even be, I know, some of you are not online, so they're looking for you, trying to get some information on you, okay? Because they wanna reach out to you. You might've changed your phone number and they're trying to find your phone number. They're trying to find a way to get in touch with you, maybe even through your family, get in touch, like talk to you through family members or friends yeah you're definitely i mean i don't know if you're actually going to hear from this person those of you who do have a way to hear from them will hear from them but those of you who don't have a way where they can get in touch with you they are going to try to find a way to get in touch with you okay you might not hear from them because you have them blocked somehow um but that doesn't mean that they aren't trying to reach out okay so that energy is definitely playing out in november let's see what else actually i want to look at you show me more of virgo show me virgo what's virgo's energy at this in november in regards to this person Show me more Virgo. Okay. So you have the Eight of Wands. You might be traveling, Virgo, in November. You might be going on a quick trip for some of you. Um, you'll be getting some good news for sure. Um, be receiving some good news in November about travel or just something, some communication coming in. Okay. Hmm. So if you're feeling down and out, I feel like this this stuff is gonna. Um, some of you may want to be hearing from this person, and I feel like if you've been feeling sad about this whole situation, uh, about a breakup or uh, that it's been over, or you thought it was done, or you're just kind of melancholy or feeling remorse or regret on your end. Um, I, I do kind of feel like. <laughs> if you're feeling that way and you and you want this person to reach out and try to make amends and try to help work with you to fix it probably blocking them is not the way to do that um, you may have to open up the communication because look at this energy do you know what I mean like if you're kind of feeling down about it you're not going to see the messages coming in. Like if you're sad, like this person's back is to the two of cups. So you're not going to see the opportunity for meeting in the middle and working things out. If you're too distraught about the loss, right? Look at all those wands coming in. This is Cupid's arrows. Okay. So I feel like this might be more of like, you kind of have to look up and pay attention. Um, You'll be very, if that's what you want, you'll be very excited and happy to receive the message coming in from this person. Um, all right. Yeah. So look at all this positive energy you have surrounding you, Virgo. So I kind of feel like whatever has got you down in November um, might be negative thinking that is affecting you emotionally. Um or a feeling like things aren't going to work out, this relationship can't work, or just may, it could be like anything in your life, really. It's just kind of shooting yourself in the foot, you know, before things get started, or just feeling hopeless, you know. Um, and, and this is all kind of like, you know, these wands are coming down from the air. The sun is up in the sky. This is all about just kind of looking up you have to look up um i don't know about you but whenever i look at the beautiful sky and the clouds i always feel like much more positive no matter what is going on um 
so yeah this I, I feel like it's all maybe for someone it's just about how you're looking at things you know um, I know this is a general reading but I feel like in this particular situation um, I feel like this person is really having some kind of awakening truly does want to make something work here with you and you might feel like no we've been down that road before it's not going to work how you know it's good you know sometimes it's harder to sometimes it's tough to go back and re and redo you know because you've already been down that road you know but sometimes it's better because you do actually know the where the pitfalls are you know um but I do feel like you have a lot of positive good news and good things surrounding you and a lot of positive support surrounding you. Um, the sun is all about that success. There, there's a lot of success and good energy. All right. So we've got a king of cups here. So this could be the person that's on your mind. Right? Cancer Scorpio Pisces you know and you might associate this person um with being generally positive generally loving but also maybe a bit moody or maybe you think they're very sad um or yeah that kind of energy as well i feel like this might be the person's on your mind now they could be a water sign sun they could have it anywhere in their chart though they don't have to be a water sign sun yeah so and we did see Pisces up here. Of course, like I said, I did call out Capricorn. So they could be a Capricorn sun or anywhere in their chart. But the King of Cups is generally someone who is kind of reserved um, a bit. They can be emotional. Yes, but they can. The King of Cups especially does not wear their heart on the sleeve. Um, they don't generally in the upright. Now, if you're like, no, I was with a Cancer and they were insane. Well, that would be... Um, uh, a, a king of cups in the reverse um, masculine or feminine energy you have to know the difference okay um, not all cancers are insane <laughs> or, or Pisces or Scorpios right um, if they're in the reverse they can be extremely insecure and they can be extremely moody and very possessive and emotional manipulators and abusers of course but when they're in the upright um, they're very compassionate, loving people, very caring, um, and not manipulators. You know what I mean? So um, I don't know what your person wants because I'm not speaking to you specifically, but there, I feel like this could be the person on your mind. And you might see some very positive qualities about this person, but there's something here that might have you down about them. Or you might feel like... Um, it won't work with this person for some reason something going on with you maybe or maybe you don't feel like it's a good match i don't know look at all this energy that's so positive <laughs> all this positive energy around this person virgo hmm what is going on here because i feel like this five of cups is you oh, wow look at this Hmm. Virgo, um, okay. Now give me a second here because I'm getting some messages. Um, you know, you for something here tells me you don't feel like you can have a long term secu long term security with this person. I don't know why. Maybe it's a past thing. Oh, King of Swords. There might be an in, there might be an interference, or um, you might have some kind of interference, or someone else on your mind. Okay. Or oh. Okay, I know what it is. If there's one thing I can say, here it is. This is it. Okay, this is it. This King of Cups, 
speaks the language of love, which is generally not, uh, it's all emotions. It's more feelings, and feelings don't generally <laughs> are associated with words and thoughts and the intellect, right? Um, this King of Cups is more f more about the feels and the passion. Um, I feel like the breakdown maybe here is the lack of communication. And I said that in the beginning. Um, and I feel like you 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 need to, you need that with this person. And I feel like that person, that's what their regret was. They did they kind of were closed up and they didn't communicate with you or they didn't talk to you. Um, they just kind of were unavailable or they were busy or they just didn't um, didn't I say that? They just didn't talk to you that kind of thing or didn't have time if you ask them questions they just that kind of thing they're not I don't know that this person was a very good communicator and that that's what I feel like the issue is here they kind of blocked or closed up a little bit and uh, communication is very healing for you Virgo um, and it's very healing for everybody and it's really important it's the key to a relationship is to having good conversation to having um, conversation that is I forget the word <laughs> of course because that's me but conversation is productive I guess you know um, because conversation good conversation productive conversation is how we solve problems if we did have disagreements um, and not fights and even if there are fights we solve them you know I, I just kind of feel like that was maybe lacking here and that's where your grief is it's not so much the love um, it's not so much the lack of love or the lack of feeling. It looks like the, the breakdown, communication breakdown. And I feel like that's what the lesson here was with this person, that they could not communicate with you really just to listen, to have that empathy to hear you or to understand you or to express how they felt through communication. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I feel like the, the thing is. And so that's why I feel like you're kind of down because if they're coming back in and they want to make some change or tell you that they, they have these plans and ideas, you really, that's really what you want. That's, that's really what you want to hear. Um, that's, and that, and Virgo, that is what they're coming in to tell you. That is what they're coming in. That is what the change is. That's what they've come to realize, that that's what they needed to, to change. So that's a positive thing, right? Because the eight of wands, that's all about communication. Cupid's arrows, commun this is the, the good news coming in, coming in to tell you the good news. And the good news is, look, at, I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to have this growth here, you know? And here they are, even as the king of swords, with the communication. That's what the swords are, the intellect and the thoughts and the communication. And I'm not going to like uh, hold, hold myself up or block or push you away. So that's very positive. Okay. So, you know, Virgo, as always, when I give you a reading, I saw someone left a comment. I'm not going to say her name. And I didn't comment or reply to the comment, but she said now she doesn't feel like she wants to go on this date after a reading that she listened to that I gave. Please, please. I don't mind if you take the guidance of the readings that I give, but please do not make your full-on decisions based on what you hear in a general reading. Even if you call me and book a reading with me, I never, ever, ever tell you what to do and I will never take responsibility or credit for your failures or successes I don't want them if you if you succeed in something due to the guidance that you get from me that's on you that's because of the steps that you took not nothing because of me has nothing I don't want it and if you fail at something that's because of the choices and the steps that you took and I don't want anything to do with that whatever guidance you get here it's because of your decision. Don't tell me that, well, you're not going on a date because of something that you heard in a tarot card reading on YouTube. No, that's that's me failing. <laughs> no, uh-uh, absolutely not. Take the reading as it resonates and go on your date and use your own discernment, use your own judgment. That's where you're, you cannot be a sheep. 
You have to make your own decisions in life. Tower readings are strictly for guidance and sometimes they're just for fun, pure entertainment. But you have to make your own decisions in life. You can't let other people decide for you. And I don't ever want that responsibility. And if it ever gets to the point where you feel like House of Virgo is telling me, because then you'll be like a candle in the wind because my readings are different every day. How are you going to do that? If, I, if you hear me make a reading that says, don't go out with this person tomorrow, and then the next day, or, or like if, you're, if you have a date on Saturday and on Thursday I say, don't go out with this person on Saturday, and then Friday I say, go out with this person on Saturday, you'll be a mess. You'll be all confused. Click off, sit down, take a moment to yourself, and figure out what you want to do. That's my caveat. That's my caveat. That's how readings should be. Okay, you've got good friends. Good. you got lots of support and good friends around you, Virgo. Take advantage of your friends. Oh, look, there's a spying online card. I told you. And you know this person, I told you, looking for you, trying to talk to your friends or your close your close friends or get in touch with people that are close to you. So they can, you know, try, they're trying to get in touch with you. Um, they want to get in touch with you. They don't want to talk to you. I'm hoping that it's not too late just to see if you're available or if something can come up here or you know if, if there's an opportunity for us to have another chance together secure home yeah okay so just like i said with the home card with the four of wands there i mean i do feel like They may be reaching out to your home base as well or your friends. Definitely. I feel like I'm, that, that's really just reiterating what I already said. You know, I already said that and I feel like they're just trying to let you know again. Yes, that's going on. Yes, that's going to happen again. Uh, I mean, yes, that's happening. Yes, they're saying yes. That's a, that's a definite. Okay, you've got stand your ground. Okay. Uh, what are you standing your ground in regards to, Virgo? Okay, the struggle is over. Emotional wish is gra granted. Okay. That's standing your ground and standing up against yourself and your negative thinking and your fears. Uh, sometimes, you know, Virgo, sometimes it's not about fight, fighting off the enemy outside of us. Sometimes it's fighting off the enemy within. And sometimes you got to just, the, the biggest enemy, the biggest obstacle most of the time is ourselves. So sometimes we got to stand up against ourselves. You know, and boundaries, I, I say this all the time, boundaries are not put in place for other people. We put them in place for ourselves. It's not putting your arm out and saying, this is how far you are able to go to other people. It's saying, this is how far I'm going with you. Boundaries are for us. They're not for others. Because when we set boundaries for ourselves, then they're by default set for others. We don't have to worry about the rest of the world. It's none of our business. Our boundaries are for us. So this is how far I'm going. I don't know about all the rest of you, nor do I care. Y'all can do what you want, but this is where I'm heading. And this is how far I'm traveling. That's your concern. It should be about your circle. Your own circle. Not everybody else's circles. So standing your ground has to do with yourself. Where are you putting your boundaries for you? Your self-discipline. That's when your struggles will end. And your emotional wishes get granted. That's when it comes. Because if you're not setting your own self-boundaries and you're setting boundaries for everybody else, then you're becoming a people pleaser. Because then everybody gets a different set of boundaries. And then you're like, again, a candle in the wind. You're flip-flopping all over the place. Just set your own boundaries and leave it alone. You have to have your own set of rules. All right, one more. Oh, that one flew a mile away. Okay. All right. And Spirit wants you to pay attention to your negative thinking. That's just pretty much going down the rabbit hole every once in a while. <clears throat> you can't stop negative thoughts from coming in, but you can stop yourself from dwelling on them. So this is not 
it not it's not like a label okay people say oh virgos are such negative thinkers they're not virgos are overthinkers they're not negative thinkers there's a lot of virgos that are overthinkers and they've done phenomenal things with their ability to stay in thought negative thinking is not a bad thing okay um because sometimes we need to balance things negative thoughts with positive thoughts if we stay in positive thought constantly then we live in on a freaking cloud <laughs> it's not reality um you have to have the positive and the negative in life that's just the scientific fact of life right um you consider a negative thought as much as you consider a positive thought we need to have that to balance don't dwell on negative thoughts if you dwell then depression will set in allow the negative thought to come pay attention to it and say okay i'm going to counteract that with a positive thought you can't stop negative thinking but you can choose how long you choose to think of a negative thought so the key is don't dwell that's the, really the advice have it but don't stay down there with it okay now i'm bringing out the brown cards i forget what they're called so I just call them the brown cards these are my hot chocolate cards and i just wanted to kind of pop these back in a little bit here and it's feeling called to bring them back out again to see what other messages there are here with these cards just want to bring a few out okay okay they just told me three up three up three up <clears throat> okay i'm seeing some people doing some old school 90s line dancing <laughs> some old school 90s like country line dancing or maybe some hip-hop okay that's good all right okay somebody wears one pant leg up to the knee i don't know if that's a style or what that is okay we've got the letter c and we have g and somebody likes guacamole they, they call it guac guac or somebody's eating guacamole maybe with chips or something to do with guacamole um oh i just saw a little just saw a little clown or maybe it's a creepy clown i'm just seeing a clown okay Whoa. um somebody has a blue coach bag a blue coach bag and mm, somebody's quitting smoking congratulations somebody is quitting smoking or has quit maybe it's on eight days or eight months eight weeks eight years congratulations somebody is 38 years of age okay let's get a couple of 1970 okay someone is born august 25th someone is 1968 we have an april 25th birthday Okay, someone is 52. Someone's born in 1989, 1984. All right, we have a Pisces showing up here again. So you could have a connection with a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart. Um, September 5th, someone is 36. Someone is 48. Someone is 58. Let's get some initials. We have a C. We also have an I, letter I, and September 8th. Um, we have area code eight five oh eight five six. It just turned to 856. We have area code 548. okay hold on you guys give me a, another sign oh pisces again strong pisces in this reading showing up now oh, where is it yeah strong pisces showing up here for someone okay let's 
see. A couple of initials, more initials here. Okay, we have the letter J, also the name J. Someone is 45. Um, we have the letter Y, the letter E. Did I say E already? Someone's name is Che. Someone calls themselves Che, like a nickname. Che. I don't think I've ever heard that. Okay. We have Sean, the name Sean showing up. We have Sarah, Jesse, someone's in Jersey. Okay. We have Vera. We have Ray, R A E or R A Y. Um, Ariel or Ari? 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 <laughs> okay. All right, let me see you guys. Let me get your Chinese signs real quick because I did leave them out. Okay, let's see. Chinese signs of this person and you. Don't forget, it, you can go over to my Moon Pai Tarot channel if you want to get daily readings of love. Those are collective readings. I also upload love readings there an hour before this one premieres, so you'll get a double dose. Not specific to Virgo, but they are collective for all signs. Okay, Year of the Rat. Okay, Year of the Dog. Year of the Rat again. Year of the Rabbit. Year of the Rooster. Year of the tiger. Year of the monkey. And we have a double monkey again. Year of the ox. Year of the dragon. We have a rabbit. Did I say rabbit? Yes, that's twice. Year of the snake snake again and one more year of the pig okay so that could be you that could be your person it might be none of you so take it as it resonates leave the rest all right let's see doesn't mean it's not your reading let's get a charm oh this one just came out and stuck to my finger and i don't know what the ep that is oh okay oh yeah, came right to me. All right, you guys, can you see that? Probably not, but let's see if we can get it to zoom. It's like um, a cloud. Um, yeah, okay. So this feels to me, immediately the message came to me. It's like partly cloudy day, partly sunny, like no cloud in the sky, right? And this kind of feels to me the message here is it's all in how you see it. The glass half empty, half full, okay? Um, your message really going for the week, I mean the month of November is pay attention to how you're looking at things. Are you a pessimist or an optimist? I know some of you are gonna make jokes about that statement and I know some people are like, I forget the jokes, but I get it. <laughs> um, your message going forward is where do you stand with things? Are you choosing to look at the glass half full, entirely full, <laughs> half empty or completely empty? But none of that matters. It's half full or half empty. Where do you stand? Right? Um, if you stand with half full, good, because you're in a good place. That's being grateful and that's seeing abundance everywhere and being happy for what you have and if you're seeing the glass as half empty that's being pessimistic and not looking at your abundance and the blessings that you have around you and that's just gonna make your life worse okay so i'm gonna leave that reading there for you i hope you enjoy that again if you want to get a personal reading you guys shout out to all the mods thank you so much you guys for being here every single day you guys are amazing 
all the hard work that you do please give a thumbs up to the mods they're always here and i'm always grateful and i hope you are too they keep the chat going smoothly um, if you want to get a personal reading, there is a discounted, very heavily discounted 30 minute phone call reading in the description box below. Thank you for the coffee you guys have been buying for me. I totally appreciate that. And um, also for donating, as you can see, hold on, I want to try to bring this back to homeostasis here it's not going to work um as you guys can if you haven't noticed i have opened up my own fun right fundraiser for the national center for missing exploited children here under my video so if you click on that that will donate directly it should go directly to that center um but it's i i've opened that up so all the donations that you guys make i also have my own website for them too but i don't think that's attached there so definitely please it's for the missing children trying to find the kids so yeah always at the forefront of my heart so if you guys could kindly donate i don't care if you give a dollar anything will do and i'm going to be changing the um membership price going forward so um for you guys who are already members um, i'm going to be lowering the price because we are in some tough times and i want you guys to be able to afford membership i know everybody's jacking prices up and i just think that's like greedy um, mother junkers and i don't think that that's the right thing to do so i'm going to be lowering the price going forward so keep an eye if you are unsubscribed from um, the membership um, know that that's because i have lowered the price and you can go back in and rejoin okay be a lot cheaper per month and um, the perks are going to change so do keep your eyes open keep yourselves peeled keep your eyes peeled for that i always get that messed up so when you join in the chat you will see that your color um if it's if you don't have a colored name and you don't have a little icon next to your name that's because you have been um, unsubscribed from the membership not from my channel but from the membership and you will have to go back in and rejoin again okay um so i'll let you know i'll put a post in the community tab and let you guys all know We'll, um, when that will be and you'll be able to go in and rejoin again and we'll be able to save a little bit of money every month all right you guys so i'll see you all back here tomorrow hope you had a great halloween love you bye